And as you can see, the scaffold location isn't really ideal for us. Every time we, every time we try and film something cool, it cocks, it cocks up on us. Yeah, so we're going to start stripping this off. Hello. We're here finally. This, we've been held up on this one a bit because other things have been happening on the job. And it's Monday the 5th of Feb, 8 o'clock. Oh, and that's Florida. Yeah, the uh, other company's doing the um, loft conversion and um, they've had the roof redone at the front. So while they've had that done, they've had the scaffold up and as you can see, the scaffold location isn't really ideal for us. It's supposed to come down Saturday. So hopefully it's going to come down today. There's no one here yet. We spoke to the customer. This is our job. We're doing a porch. Coming out here, across and back. Then first thing is take this wall out. Get rid of that. Once that's down, we can take the floor up. Take the slab up. Take down, take the... Whatever's in there, whatever's under there, it won't be much of a slab. It's like the rest of the houses on here. Take it down, down, take that bullnose out. That should be enough then. And then um, hopefully the scaffold will be gone. We can get the brickwork round up to DPC. Then that will give us um, to do the slab tomorrow. So that's the plan. So we're, uh, we're relying on other people to do their, their bit. And if they don't, we've, we're snookered. <laughs> we've been, we've uh, We've been waiting a while to do this one, so um, hopefully we can crack on. So, um, demolition day today, and hopefully a bit of block work, at least the block work on the inside. But we'll see. All our materials at the at the end of the um, at the end of the drive there, and um, oh. there you go. So that's it. We're going to get the um, our Milwaukee breaker out. I'm going to crack on. So enjoy the show. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, it's another return job. Like I say, our regulars will remember this one. A little tiny extension. Lovely little job. It's like a little utility room that. Yeah. Nice little job that. Difficult to build because no door in it. And we also did a steel inside the kitchen. So it's our third visit, third job here. Always nice when you get asked back to do work for people. And we've got a couple of bricks to patch up top for them. So um yeah. Carlton Heathers. The, the um the Carlton copy of the London Heathers. Again, massively better brick, and we're using the same for the porch. So yeah, let's get it, let's go and, let's go and start knocking things down. There's a rough idea of how it, how it's going. And obviously, um, customer says possibly cutting back up to here. I think Dad's mentioned this, but all that bit going too, just so they've got maximum space. Because obviously they, they didn't have a lot of room to begin with here. But it's uh, it put up the the rendering's put up a bit of a fight, but we're getting there. You can't take that out. No. We open that up. This has got to be a. This is the front of the house. Yeah. You can't just take that out. I have to let him know then. Yeah. So there you go. So we're being careful, uh, making sure we don't fill up the skip because the 
What conversion people are still doing it, using it. It's a nice solid air wall at least. Yeah. It's doing its job. It's not what we want, is it? No. It's ironic because obviously you want the work to be done properly for the homeowner, but if you're demolishing that work, it's very helpful if it's been done poorly. Because <laughs> you can take it out easier. Bricklayers are never satisfied. <laughs> We've, uh, we've got a bit stuck. Crap technique.
Right, break time over. And I think, you, did you mention that before break? Um, I think you did. We briefly mentioned it, yeah, but yeah. now we have a solid plan. Right, um, obviously we've got the nib out, but the nib is another nib. So obviously that goes back probably about 15 inches. So, and this nib is the front of the house. So we have two concrete lintels above there. And to get rid of this, obviously, we're going to have to extend the lintels. So, um, the, the customers just come back, like, luckily, say me ringing up. A um, lot easier to explain in person than over the phone. So um, I've explained that um, to, to change this, well, to get rid of this, we're going to have to change those. Um, Al, can you just get a tape measure? Yeah. So I um, did explain, he said, right, well, there's no way they want this left in the porch because what's the point of that? So that's going. Um, hang on, let me start again. Scaffold's not going down today. There's nobody coming to work on the ex on the loft conversion today. So the scaffold is coming back tomorrow first thing to strip the scaffold. That means we can't build anything today. So that means we can't do the concrete floor tomorrow. So they're quite happy for us to do this. So change of plan is get rid of all this, get the floor out, get it ready for the get, re get the height ready for the slab. Then tomorrow we'll come back and get these lintels done. The roof's getting changed so we can strip the roof so we can get above it to um, get our strong boys and acros in. Um, and we're going to put concrete lintels in. It's already got a crack above it on the man on the front of the house, so that's going to help. Um, so we have a plan and we have an extra day's work which is great not great for the customer but it's just one of those things obviously they don't, great want, for the customer, but don't want that leaving in it's best it's best that we make it safe as well yeah so it, it, it's, it's good in the long run for the customer mm. so oh there's a socket doing that down there right? hmm? plugs it down there socket <laughs> we've plugged into the utility room there's an outside socket down there right to the bottom oh i see it now so um I remember that now. Yeah. When we're doing the extension. So there you go. We have a new plan. So basically today it's job and not get this slab out. And then um, we're gonna leave we're gonna use some of the rubble. Leave the full bricks and all the loose stuff we're gonna use at the bottom there. And then just um, we'll probably just blind it because we've got a ton of sand. Um that's it, that's all the news. So um, We have plans. Yes, we have a plan. It's always nice to have a plan. So uh, we know what we're doing tomorrow, um, and even if the weather's bad, it's more or less it's more or less under cover, isn't it? demolition update um, the old chest up we've forgotten something we forgot the bits for the big breaker yeah we don't often get to play with the big breaker so we get quite excited when we do get a chance to use it and uh, we forgot the bits even though it's a it's a fake and a phony according to the commenters oh do you know what it gets it gets you'd be surprised how many haters that thing gets saying how crap it is when you've never touched it never used it don't know anything about it and then um, one guy even said we were lying and then um, because we'd um, we brought we brought all we, our breakers. We brought our old breaker, just in case we needed it. Because we obviously need to get the whole slab up in the day, and we, um, I honestly gave it five minutes, and it was it was awful. The vibration on it is just unbelievable. Because it's just a cheap one. Everyone's got these cheap ones, about 150 quid from Tool Station, or uh, all kinds of places to sell it. And um, leave that bit in, mate. 
Yeah, leave it in. Yeah, you can get them anywhere, dead cheap. I used to think they were fantastic, but it's like the Milwaukee one. It's like bang, 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 bang. The cheap one is like, and it's it's not as powerful. It's a lot noisier, and there is no vibration dampening. But let me show you these. all that basically it's on a spring and it's even more it's even more pronounced on the big breaker so um we love it we just wish we could use it it's not uh it's not practical to nip home and get the bits because um it's only a thin slab it's only three inch so this thing's this thing's coping quite well with it so that's that's it um we're just gonna have to make a big list of things we need to not forget tomorrow we need quite a few bits tomorrow. Yeah. We need the saws off, cutting the timber back. We need acros, we need strong boys. We can go and pick the lintels up on the way home tonight. And then... Um, wish I could do that. Just get me strength up. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we've just got this like... Uh, that was the other thing. You've got ceramic tiles onto adhesive, onto quarry tiles, onto a screed, onto a... DPM. So tiles, adhesive, quarry tiles, screed, viscoine, onto a three inch slab, basically gone to crap. And you can see just by looking at it, it's damp. You can smell it that it's damp. So basically we're stripping everything out, getting down, bit of hardcore, sand blinding, and then the usual malarkey for a, for a slab. It'll be, um, although it's a porch, it doesn't come in the building next, we'll be doing the slab and the brickwork to building regs. Well, not the brickwork, it's only got a thin cavity. But the it's slab, it's slab, it's slab will be up to part L. The walls won't be, they'll just be as, um, as thin as possible. So, um, so just to make, uh, make the most room. So obviously, if anyone who doesn't know, um, if you don't have to build a porch to building regs if it is under three meters squared. 3.3 3 meters squared, yeah. Three meters squared, so beyond that, then you get building regs, but that's why people go for smaller porches because they're not bound by building regs. So we're not breaking any laws. Or planning permission. Yeah, we're not breaking any rules. That's 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 how it is. And this one, this this one, the actual floor area will be bigger than three meters, but the actual projection from the building won't be the actual, the bit we're extending it from the footprint of the building. So there you go. We just need this bloody scaffold out of the way. Right, so let's crack on.
No one needs no damp course under here. Looks like wood shavings, bits of timber. Just concrete flooring, all straight with really poor concrete. Ooh. And then that's it underneath. And it always smells damp, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks damp. You can see how damp it is too. Yeah. And there's the original footprint of the building, that's the front. That's the front of the house. Um, so that's staying in and we can get our harker over the top of that. Um, probably take those tiles off the, the upstand. I've just got this little bit to take out the corner there and we're done. We're tied up as best we can then we're going to go shopping and get a few bits we need and load the van for tomorrow. I want to do that cup while using water suppression on that. Yeah well it's messy enough isn't it? You're not yeah. really messing anything up. Yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. Here's a nice little dinky battery for you. Alright, thanks. Nice little 5 amp hour to finish off, hopefully. That's it, that's, that's all I've got left. I could leave that in to take that down, but I'd just rather have it all done. Yeah, so that's the underneath of the concrete. I'm going to tip it over, shall I? I think it is. That's it. Like 50mm. <laughs> yeah, it looks like concrete with a screen on top. Look, tip it forward. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. It's crap anyway. That's, <laughs> that's how thick it is. So, <laughs> Which, like I said before, it's not good. It's not good in general, but it's good for us because we're demolishing it. Yeah, the easier the better for us. Yes. But yeah, it's going to be so much better. This porch. It's going to be brilliant. That's another thing. Uh, when people keep saying, "Oh, why do you like? Why do you like doing this work?" I like taking shit out like this and putting better stuff in. Yeah, improving things. Yeah. We do a lot of that. I love it. It's like because since I was little. The one thing that's satisfying the most with the Lego build is when you bond the, like a layer oh, yeah. in it, it won't break then. I fucking love it. <laughs> Welcome to the war zone. As you can see we're um, two and a half courses below dump now. Get rid of those tiles in a minute. All the way around, there's the original house bricks from the original foundation. I don't know where the front one is. It's like they never bothered building that up. Yeah, so um, we're taking it all down to that. We're going to reuse a load of this in this area at the bottom, the smaller stuff. Give it a good smash with the hammer. Then put a bit of a hardcore over the top, a bit of sand, and whack it all down. As a, you can get recycled uh, MOT, so why not recycle it ourselves? It's all good stuff. You can see it's wet, not wet, but damp. It really, it really smells damp. You can see that's that's dry. You can see the difference. So yeah, like the dentist, we, we took cut all the bad stuff out the tooth. Now we're going to start building it back up with a nice, nice new filling. Um, we've, not, we've piled the stuff behind the skip because the skip belongs to the guys doing the loft conversion. So the customer said, "Stick it there until he checks if it's okay to use the skip." So um, that's what's done for now, anyway. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We can't build anything until the scaffold's gone tomorrow. But like they say, we can carry on with this. We're going to strip the tiles off now and um, take off whatever we can. Never look what we're looking at. We're going to get Acker and Strongboy in from this side and the same this side if we can. I should be able to get them in an angle. And then yeah, six yeah. before concrete lintel going back to there. Right. I'm going to, and it's going to be 2.1 meter, meter lintel, but it's only spanning 1.8. So um, six before concrete lintel should be plenty. It's concrete lintels as is. But as Alex said, we're taking out rubbish and putting better stuff back in. So yeah. When Alex gets back off the phone, we'll have a tidy up, load the van up and go shopping and then load the van up for tomorrow. An unexpected early early dart but um, we're going by other people I'm afraid and they're not here. So we'll catch you in a bit. Technical issues aside, we've got the marking. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, leave it to us. Every time we every time we try and film something cool, it cocks, it cocks up on us. Obviously, I don't know if it's going to make the cut, but when we were doing the tarmac for the wall the other day, 
at the other day in our timeline, not your, not you as the viewer timeline. The uh, we we bloody poured it with petrol. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't bloody light on fire. Right. We've got our own little multiverse of madness going on here, talking about all our different videos in one go. Can you reach a bit higher for me, please, mate? I can. You know, I'll hold the level. You take the camera as well. Press hard because the lead's gone. Up to this port, roof if you can. And obviously, we're going to have to. We're coming. Got to take a pocket out of that for the lintel. Whereabouts? Out there. Yeah, same height. So I have to take go 150 and leave however. Well, we can go up to there. If we need to because the brick will cover it. So there you go. That's going to be. This is coming out. Concrete lintel is going to come across into this wall, and the one on the back is going to just sit on the inside skin because obviously it can't go right across. Well, I suppose it could, but it's bridging the cavity then, which we don't want. Um, yeah, so we're going to start stripping this off. Well, we're going to make this a bit more, a bit safer for the customer getting out of the house for tonight. And then we're going to strip this and have a look, see what we've got. Get as much off as we can before we need the saws all. So we yeah, just keep uh, plodding along, making a bit of progress. So we're going to use that tomorrow. Here we go. What the hell is that? Jesus Christ! Get a spade! What's the size of that? I don't know what you're on about. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could play some good tricks on Sarah with that. Just go over and put it in a bed. <laughs> yeah. You can put them on the dashboard of the van. Boris, our um, mascot. I'll put him on a bit of a um, fishing wire dangling from the roof of the van. You're proud of that contraption there? Yeah. Put up a bit of a fight. I mean, well, that was one way to do it. Hey. That was one way to do it. <laughs> I could probably, I could, if I get this bit off, I could probably get them both from here. You sure?
There you go. That is a unexpected job. Yeah. But it was just a quick like hour and there you go, it's done. Like you that the camera show the seat and just look You ready? Oh. Can you stop flipping them? That's uh, quite a seating, isn't it? That's all the things the house up there. So obviously we're going to uh, get some more in there, make it a bit more safe. There you go, so now it's a shopping trip. Excuse the wind, feels like it's been windy since October. Uh, here you go, 20 to 2. Just had a, a long, leisurely lunch. So, we're going to pack everything up. I'll actually just nip the toilet because we're going to head off to get our lintels now from the Fairwoods. Um, and then we'll head back home and pack all the other stuff we need for tomorrow. We're going to bring our little scaffold to put in here. Uh, a little, little tower, which should be it better than the trestles. A couple of acros, four acros, four strong boys, and we can get this thing. We need to strip back a bit more roof, but in case it rains, we've left that in. Um, I've got to go back to wherever the lintel finishes. As you can see, there's not much seating on there. We're coming back. We're taking it out to there. So, another 150 on the front, which is just behind the brickwork. Obviously this is coming out from here so that'll be tomorrow maybe be the day after. I think we're not here Wednesday I think we're going to do, um, finish off a job we started last year just a bit of stone to level out and a couple of little snagging jobs so I think we're back here tomorrow then Thursday. So tomorrow's going to be all about changing these lintels. That's it for day one well day half. Obviously all this has got to be cleared out so we can build it up. But um, nothing we can do yet till this lot's gone. Oh yeah, all the roof stripped back as well. That little wall plate bolted into the brickwork above is going to come in handy. Uh, that's going to hold all. We might even put an extra couple of screws in that just to um, hold the brickwork. I think we're coming together nice. Oh yeah, I just need to measure the uh, floor area as well for our insulation. So I'll get a few different measurements anyway. So we um, might see it burst, might see it forwards, might see it tomorrow. Do the outro from home. I uh, forgot to do it at work, so let me get to my uh, my blank space. Uh, yeah. So whatever job this was, I have no idea, but there it was. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way, you'll always be notified when we upload. That's a massive help and is a good support for the channel. Any additional support anyone would want to give, there is the super thanks under the video, or there's Dad's PayPal in the description. That's not necessary by any means, it's a bonus way of supporting the channel, which is greatly appreciated, but not necessary, so don't be worrying. <laughs> this has been Brick Lane with Steve and Alex from home, with our new uh, trade boards. Thank you, and we will see you in the next one.